What is up guys and welcome back. Okay, so this time we're going to be heading for the Bighorn Ram. Or the legendary Bighorn Ram, should I say. This is going to be just northwest of Valentine. Right over there is where I started this one. And the question mark is right over there as the first clue. So head down the hill. And we're going to go quite far down, I think. Across a lake as well. Or should I say a pond? When you make these, a while ago. Track, track, track. Find the next clue on the tree. There we go. I can find you. He's going to be just to the right of that hill in front of me. Right there. I think I remember at this point, something distracted me. I saw a perfect pelt of some other kind and I kind of went off mission for about an hour. Then I came back and started recording again in the next spot. So this is the only trail that I'm aware of that uh, takes you through water. It would have been pretty cool if I did that a bit more often. But there we go. Apply your scent cover if you want to. If you yeah. want to get up close and personal. And this is where it goes into the water, just across here. Couldn't see him yet, he's just the other side of that hill. So at this point I think I saw something, and I went off, which is why there's a little cut here, but uh, come back to the same spot, right there. We're going to head through the water, it might remove the cover scent, it also might give me a bit of a wash. Yeah, he's going to be just over this rise. There he is right there. And then he does uh, bolt. And then something strange happened with my, uh, my aiming. I couldn't aim further down on top of the hill. And I was kind of in denial for a bit. Which is why I spent such a long time wasted in, uh, in Deadeye. So using the poison arrows whenever I can. So at this point here, he was right there, easy pot shot, and I couldn't aim lower than I think that. And I was in denial. So, come on, come on. And this wouldn't go down. Something to do with the angle of the cliff, maybe. But uh, we're gonna slide on down and get a closer shot. Now the first one I thought was going to, uh, the second one at least, I thought was going to miss, but it actually did hit him there. And then that's the third one. And I do shoot again, but he actually falls before that last one connects. Alright, we're going to head on over, grab our skins and our carcass this time as well, and head back to the trapper. Hey, hey, it's okay. All right, let's go get our wares. Ignore the falling animal. Probably nowhere near right, as valuable as that guy. Okay, so at the trapper, we're going to sell our shit as usual. Okay, Second from the right is your again. horse cargo tab. And there is the ram hide and carcass. $14.27. And from there, we're going to head to the stalker garment set. Right over there. And you're going to be able to craft, I think, two items just with uh, having the pelt with no other animals needed. Except for the last one, Good which hunt. is going to be the, uh, that is the um, batwing chaps. And you don't actually need a bat to craft that, strangely. But as you can see, there's a couple other ones you can do in combination with other pelts. Okay, we're going to head to the fence. We're going to craft, I think, a trinket. In one of my charms. Yep. There it is there, the ram horn trinket. And that is going to give you some extra items on some of the greenery pickups, which can be quite useful. All right, guys, that's going to bring us to the end. Hope you found this series informative and you're liking the content. Stick around, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And there is a couple more videos on the way on the fishing, as well as some other stuff I'm going to try and find. So I want to say thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.